All right, we have one final segment here this morning on Upper Michigan Today. We have learned a little bit about the TV6 Expo and about some of the vendors and what you can expect next Saturday. Nancy, for someone watching and maybe they're still not sure if they should attend, why should they come out next Saturday? This is your hopefully first and not last chance to get your business known. Um, you see, we've had two great people here today that that deserve to have their business spotlighted a little bit. Yeah. And we have room for more. So just get a hold of me. Like I say, right up to the last minute. Just as long as I know what kind of space and if you need a table. Um, get a hold of me. Uh, the website might be on the the TV6 craft show at gmail.com. Yep. That would be the email. We'll put that on our website yeah, for sure. Yeah, yep. get that yep. up there and um, just get a hold of me, you know. And then, uh, again, we need the, the public to be aware of this also. Uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to email me also. Perfect. And uh, we'll, we'll get the public and these small businesses together. What's the cost for a business to participate in the expo? It's $75 for the day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and then uh, you'll get, you know, some TV6 exposure there. I'm sure that we'll have some interviews and stuff going on. Then. I would imagine that we yeah. would. I have no yeah. promises because I I nobody listens to me. I won't be there. <laughs> yeah, you're gone. Uh, Barbara, the, yeah. the... Barbara Bellinger. Yes, she'll Our be Escanaba there. Bureau reporter. She'll be there. Wonderful. And she's, she's a, a great delightful gal. person She really is. To, she to really get is. meet and greet. That's she's, right. She's, uh, she's helped me out with the craft shows a little bit. Wonderful. And, uh, everybody loves Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> we do too. We do too. Elliot, well, you know, you're, every day you're in the day-to-day the -day grind of, of doing business and filling orders and, and just keeping that going. How important are these kind of events for you in creating that network and getting outside of, kind of away from that busy and being able to engage with the public it, it, it really makes a difference because you're, you're you're able to people are able to come and interact with you um, it's very important with what I do because we do a lot of online sales and that face-to-face -face interaction um, really is provided by these events otherwise sometimes it's very difficult for to get that yeah yeah, I could see that. I, I, I could see just being so distracted in the day to day. That would be hard to really to get, get to out know there. Yeah. Who, you're, who you're buying from, what you're, what, you know, sure. where's it coming from? Sure. That's the whole basis of what we do. So, yeah. and you know, with these events, that's easy for to yeah. have that happen. Absolutely. And, and then Lacey, for you being kind of a somewhat of a unique business to the yeah. area, I don't know that I know of any other services like the one you offer at Fresh Coast Wellness here in the UP. Right. It's an awesome opportunity to be at the Business Expo so we can actually sit down and educate. I'm really passionate about what we do and so I feel like it's a great opportunity. We can just pause, show you some of our services, let you experience them, but also talk about it. The medical weight loss stuff that we've just started this year has really boomed. It's been an amazing opportunity for people to get some services um, for products that you know their insurance company might not want to carry for them, that they can get it kind of from a fraction of a cost with us. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about some of these weight loss medications, and sometimes it's just nice to be able to answer some of those questions instead of people reading the you know pros and cons online from people who aren't very educated in them. Sure. Right. They yeah. can have an actual conversation with a medical professional exactly. to see if it yep. works for them. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, let's put some information up on the screen. We want to make sure you know exactly when this event is happening. So again, the TV6 Business Expo is happening in Escanaba at the Ruth Butler Building next Saturday, April 20th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can see the list of everything that's happening there. We talked a little bit earlier about some of the UP authors that are going to be in a corner, if you will. Um, do do you have a list of any of those authors? Can you tell us about a couple of them? Well, I don't have it right in front of, of me. Of course, I put you on the spot because I'm just <laughs> so course, kind. Of yeah. course. But um, they're all the way from um, the Sioux. Okay. Over to, I think, Lance. Okay. So they're they're meeting up there to uh, network between amongst themselves. Sure. That's why we're putting them together. And then they're there to sign books and sell books and, and whatever they want to do, you know, in their little spot of the yeah. event. We'll tell you what, we'll get a list from you afterward. We'll put mm -hmm. it on our website. Sure. So if you yes. are interested to know what authors will be there, you can find it on this story on UpperMichiganSource.com. We have such an amazing, talented group of authors here in the Upper Peninsula, so I guarantee whoever it is, it's going to be worth your time yeah. for a chat. We have a lot of talent, period. In yeah. The mm -hmm. yeah.
And a lot how of great nice that there's a, too. Yeah. What's that? I said a lot of great businesses too. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And yep. no snow forecasted for the weekend. <laughs> hey! Oh, what a beautiful hey. one it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, it really will be a nice day to take a drive to Escanaba, mm -hmm. check out the expo, and maybe stick around, grab a bite to eat, mm -hmm. go yes. walk by the bay. There will be co concessions. Okay, there yep. will be concessions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Similar to what you do at the craft show? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly they're offering, but if you want to come down and have a bowl of soup. I think I heard soup. Okay. I don't know. I had a great hot soup. dog when I was there for the craft show. Hot dog, yes. Hot dog and soup. That's, that's what it is, I believe. What a lunch. <laughs> what a lunch. I mean, honestly, it almost calls for snow, hot dog and soup. But I'm not going to say yeah. that, though. I won't. Don't I won't it or speak it into existence. Before we go, can we take a look at that semi one more time? Is it the still semi camera. Up? Okay, yeah, we got to check out. Oh, it's still there. Don't worry. Your semi is safe. We've put it on air, but don't worry. Nothing. It, it appears nothing's happened. It, it looks like it's raining can out there. Can this be our hey? new Marquette cam? Yeah, I really... It's windy and terrible. Yeah. It's windy and terrible. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. The semi makes it just look real lovely out there in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure why I'm so obsessed with the semi. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because it's Friday, and why not? It. Yeah. We've driven the semi. Have you? Yeah. and I. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. It's a true story. It is. It's fun times. <laughs> with the trailer on, on the too. road, too. Good game for anything. Wait, did we make it on the road? No. No, we just turned, the parking turned around the parking lot. So yeah. we, we still have some bars. <laughs> so anyway. it's, it's not quite legal for us to drive it on the road. No, it's not. <laughs> Doesn't mean we wouldn't do it. But All right. I want to thank you all so much for coming on the thank show. You. Thanks thank for sharing your semi with us. Thank you, Pam. You are welcome. <laughs> just have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I will see you back here on Monday. Safe travels to you. Thanks a lot. I'll